Well, I shared it before. When I first started, I had a speaker that leaned, and okay. they were people, house speakers. I didn't understand sound. If you're enjoying the content you're watching right now, and you want to learn how to level up at all your events and create vibes, well, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel right now. So you're doing, man, so many gigs out there. Talk to me about the importance of a sound check. And was that something you were doing when you first started? Or is that something you, you know, as the gigs piled up, you're like, yo, I need to, I need to, I need to get a sound check in to make sure my sounds, you know, sounds right. So talk to me about that, man. Well, I shared it before. When I first started, I had a speaker that leaned and okay. they were people, house speakers. I didn't understand sound. All my speakers was on the floor. Okay. Mm. I, yeah, I did not understand sound. It wasn't until I had my mentor, Jeff, teach me about sound with his show. I'm like, okay. So when I started doing my DJing um, heavy, I hired a sound guy. Mm. And when I hired my sound guy, my sound guy should know what decibels we need in order to make sure that this room feels good. Now, I do, my, my sound guy and I do disagree on a few things. Okay. I think my sound guy may be going deaf. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, oh my goodness, he's, he's a little older, but, but I, I take him everywhere I go. Um, my agent, you know, feels like we can do it ourselves, but he's, so I, I've got to get to your point. Sound check is important okay. because if the sound is not right. It could cause the party to not be right. Yes. The sound too low. They can't feel it. They can't hear it. Ah, I, I, I don't like this party's whack. And so sound check allows these things to go right. The mic is not going, um, giving the feedback, all of that. So it's important that your sound is right. When the people are coming, it feels good to them. So, yes. So that's important. Now I'm gonna go back to the to my sound guy. I keep my sound guy because my sound guy is a DJ as well. Mm, so he got those ears. Yes. So, but he's getting deaf. Um, but he, <laughs> he's a, he's a DJ as well. And what happens is he holds me accountable. I need accountability. I need mm. for him. Hey, brother. You know he he shares his thoughts with me. Ah. Uh -huh. uh, you you didn't stay in the genre too long. You got out of the genre too fast. Mm, I like that. So I receive this information from him, and that's what makes me better. I try to put people on my team that's better than me, or, or I believe is better than I am, because I want to continue to learn. There's so much out here to learn. So I listen to all of you all. I listen to you, brother. Trust. Oh, I appreciate that, yeah. brother. I'm I'm on all I'm all over your page, so you are. <laughs> Trust me, when, when you were on the station, and and there was a, I was listening. Oh, I appreciate I, that, brother. I, and anything else you posted, I'm listening because I wonder I want to know what everyone's doing. How can I get it? What can what what I can learn from it? What I can take from it? And I'm not trying to be like per se you, but I want to add my flavor to from what I learned from you. What's going on, DJ family? DJ Reese here. Every Monday at 9 a.m., I'm dropping a new podcast episode where I'm highlighting some of the dopest DJs out there that are creating vibes at all the venues that they're DJing at. If you want to hear these stories, level up in your DJing. If you're a new beginner DJ, you need new tips, you want to hear the inspiration from the DJs who started out new that are taking their DJing game to the next level. Well, you got to check out WeCreateTheVibes.com every Monday, 9 a.m. New stories, new episodes from the dopest DJs out there killing it in the game right now. Hosted by DJ Reese. Again, check out WeCreateTheVibes.com.